Howdy folks, Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook here. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, selecting materials in GWizard Feeds and Speeds Calculator. This is part of our GWizard University series of short videos. So here we go. Uh, in order to calculate your feeds and speeds properly, GWizard needs to know what sort of material you'll be cutting. And so here's our material menu right here, which is the go-to place to start looking at it. And what you'll see here is a list of what we call material families. This is very common. Most uh, tooling catalogs show things by family, and we have quite a few different things on the list. Aluminum, brass, cast iron, cobalt chrome, uh, composites such as fiberglass or PC boards, uh, copper alloys, you know, brass, bronze, uh, graphite uh, for the electrode cutting crowd, uh, high temperature nickel alloys, magnesium, nickel alloys, hard and soft plastics, stainless steel, a variety of different steels of course, titanium, wax, uh, and a variety of different wood and wood products. Uh, so you can get pretty far just with that, but uh, of course like the commercial says, there's more. Uh, if you click the more button, you get our material browser which gives you quite a bit of other capabilities so uh, first thing is you have a history drop down which shows the last few types of material you used a lot of shops will have relatively few materials for long periods of time and so this is a a quick way to save you a little bit of time and trouble uh, picking out a material you've recently used um, let's say though uh, your problem is you don't even know which family to look in. Like, you know, I don't know, is, is a cedal a hard plastic or a soft plastic? Uh, well, I can type a cedal in the search box and be sure you click search. And, you know, here it is right here. I can immediately uh, select that material and, you know, boom, I'm doing uh, soft plastics and I'm doing a cedal and Delrun. Um, so it makes it really easy uh, if you can't... Uh, uh, figure out what the material should be that you select. Um, what if what if we don't have that material in the list? What if the search comes up with nothing? Well, you've still got some options. If the material you're looking for is part of a family, you can just put the Brunel hardness in, uh, assuming it's a hard enough material to have that. There won't be one for wood or for uh, plastics. Uh, and in those two cases, well, let me finish with the Brunel hardness. Just put the Brunel hardness in and go ahead and select the material anyway. And uh, that will work uh, fine for most any case. Uh, see here, I've got a, a 245 hardness on this brass. Um, for a softer material that doesn't have a Brunel hardness, uh, let's say you're wondering about wood. Well, wood is so soft, it has a very... Uh, a very broad sweet spot um, for the feeds and speeds. So identifying the individual woods, particularly for using a carbide cutter, uh, it, it, doesn't, it isn't really necessary to do that for these feeds and speeds. Some of the composite wood materials, uh, MDF and plywood, due to the way they're manufactured, they may have very abrasive uh, grit in the glue that's holding them together. So. Uh, you know, these guys, you want to make sure you, you pick the appropriate category for them, but no further fine-tuning is really needed for that. Likewise, uh, with plastics, um, there's hard and soft, and these are, these are industry terms. They don't really mean uh, what you think of as hard or soft. Uh, it's how the chip cuts. So a soft plastic makes a nice carved-out chip, uh, very similar to what metal, uh, metal does. But hard plastic, uh, the chips can almost powder off uh, the material because it's very brittle. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to select your um, uh, the correct kind of plastic to use there. Okay, well let's say you don't have a material, you're, you're sure there's not a material. So for example, recently I added uh, cobalt chrome. We did not have a material for that uh, until just a few days before I made this video. Well, uh, you can contact CNC Cookbook and request we add any alloy or material and, and we will eventually do that. 
uh, it's really quick to get it done for just alloys, meaning there's a family that already exists, so I can go ahead and add it. Uh, but for something that's completely new, a, a family uh, unto itself, like the cobalt chrome uh, materials, that takes longer. Uh, we have to do quite a bit of research to make that happen. Uh, we have to find a, a number of different manufacturers, feeds and speeds, uh, for the material with all different kinds of tools, and we put that through our proprietary uh, statistical process to arrive at a material model for a new family. So that's why it takes us a little bit longer to put together a new family. Anyway, that's a bunch more tools for you to use uh, to make your uh, ability to select materials faster and easier. And we thank you very much for listening. Signing out.